Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel IQ Enlightened. Today my topic is on motivating yourself. Internal and external motivators. Basically, there are two main kinds of motivators, internal and external. Internal motivator emerges from within and is directly linked with the natural instincts, arts and impulses of the organism. The individual who is intrinsically motivated performs an ad because he naturally gets interested in the activity or derives satisfaction in performing it, learning to ride a bicycle. Intrinsic motivation creates spontaneous attention and interest and sustains it all along the course of an endeavor even when surrounded by failures. It occurs when people are compelled to do something out of pleasure, importance or desire. External motivator refers to conditions that are external to the activity and the individual. Here the source of satisfaction does not lie within the task. That is, sex kind of motivation has no functional relationship to the task. Reading books in order to pass the examination is an example. The individual learns something not for its own sake but for getting some external reward. Extrinsic motivation occurs when external factors compel the person to do something. For example, I will give you a candy bar if you clean your room. At the external level, two important uh, factors that sustain motivations are recognizations and responsibility. Recognizations implies being appreciated, being treated with dignity and respect and feeling a sense of belonging. Responsibility gives the person a sense of self-worth, a feeling of uh, being trusted and considered good enough and of being worthwhile. If the manager can help their staff stay motivated by recognizing and appreciating their efforts and by delegating responsibility to them, both of which are emotionally gratifying. Another golden opportunity to foster motivation, often unused or neglected, is the time when a person first joins an institution. This is the time when employees are most motivated. This is prom prompted by a desire to prove themselves and to prove to the employer that he or she has made the right decisions in employing them. It is at this stage that teachers must be oriented to the philosophy and culture of the institutions. Its visions and missions, employers and employees, expectations of each other, parameters and guidelines to be followed, what is acceptable and what is not. Often newcomers on the staff are left to themselves and are expected to watch, observe and learn from experience. Instead, if the leader invested time and effort in induction and orientations of new staff, this would serve as valuable initial motivators. Leaders can also use other motivation techniques like making the work environment comfortable and friendly, setting well-defined, clear and achievable targets laying down measurable benchmarks, throwing challenges and rewarding them when challenges are met. Other external motivators that help employees stay motivated are appreciation, affection, gratitude and approval that must be expressed and shown frequently. On the negative side, dangerous demotivators include unfair and negative criticism, public humiliations, rewarding non-performers, unfair treatment, responsibility without authority, politics and lack of direction, this must be carefully avoided. Importance of Motivations Motivation is vital in any job if people are to give their best to it, assuming that employees are given opportunity for good performance and have the necessary skills, then effectiveness depends on their motivations. The responsibility of motivating their team is on the team leaders. It is they who are placed to create the correct environment in which people will grow and give up their best to their work. Therefore, leaders should continually look for opportunities to give a positive feedback, praise and encouragement. People need praise and encouragement like roses need rain and sunshine. Take every opportunity to make people feel better about themselves and their work. While some folks seem happy to merely dream about great things, and a fabulous future, the top performers busily convert their dreams into reality. 
this champions building on the tremendous amount of momentum they have established through their regular regime of positive conditioning consistently taking their lives to the next level they have discovered that their motivation grows more forceful the very moment they put their plan into immediate actions thank you for watching this video